the three repeating groups here. Um, so I'll be using the add team member um, group to explain it. Now, when you want to search for users, right? So basically, what this should do is, you know, when the user types in, you know, the first name, last name, and the email address of the of the talent is trying to, you know, add to his team, it should automatically populate here. If the user has none of those details, he will have access to all users on the platform and simply add any user, you know, that you know he's looking for, right? Lastly, um, the user we're referring to here does not need to impute all these fields. He can decide to, for example, make use of just the first name. Let me show you what I mean. So this gives a second to. All right, so here's it. Um, when I click on Add New Team Member, because I currently don't have anything typed in, it brings up all the email addresses we have or all the users we have at the, um, on the platform at the moment, right? Now, let's say I type in Monica. So it searches for all users with the first name of Monica, and since it finds no results, it simply tells us there are no results found. Now, if, for example, I think I have my first name written on the platform no let me remove my email so it will automatically bring up you know it will bring me up now if there are multiple users named enoch it will bring you know all users named enoch right um and lastly if you decide to say use the email address and first name it will still bring up the result that matches right so now here's how this works primarily when you click on search for users you know on the repeating group for example where you'll be typing search for users yeah what you should what you would do is for example the first name right right here this is the input right let me copy the input name and see for example say I'm looking for first name so will be equals to now the name of the input is what input first name actually now because of you know connecting the first name the first name field to the last name input that could cause some confusion so if you notice here, first name is going to the first name input, which means if you type in the first name, if you type into the first name input field, it searches for users with the same first name. If you type in users, if you type in, in the input email box, it searches for users, you know, it searches for the user's email addresses, you know, you know, corresponds to the value. Hope that makes sense. Yeah. And then you would also always want to make sure you have this selected, ignore empty constraints. If you do not have this selected, it would simply not bring in any results initially so you see how when I remove everything it brings up all the results you're right if you have if you do not have ignore empty constraints checked it will bring no results and would rather wait for you to type in something before it brings in a result and so I hope that uh, much is clear so if you have any questions do let me know